And the one who spoke with me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city and its gates and walls. Revelation 21, 15. I have spent a lot of time on baseball fields, coaching Little League for many years, coaching American Legion baseball for high school and college age kids. And baseball, of course, one of my loves, if anyone who knows me well knows that, but it's a very distinct and orderly game. There's 90 feet between home plate and first base. There's 90 feet between first base and second base. There's 90 feet between second base and third base. And there's 90 feet between third base and home plate again. And then from the pitcher's mound, there's 60 feet 6 inches from the rubber to the plate. Very specific dimensions of the infield, at least. What makes baseball somewhat unique, though, is that the full dimensions of the field can change from where you are, from ballpark to ballpark. Wrigley Field has one set of dimensions. Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago has another set of dimensions from home plate to the outfield wall, the fences. Little League fields, obviously much smaller than Major League fields, and they vary from field to field where their fences are. It is an incredible game of dimensions and measurements, and for me, a lot of fun strategy. In the Bible, there are several places, including in Revelation 21, where God measures or has his people measure things to show that there is a specific geological or geographical location for his people. God is in his heavens, which is infinite and eternal. But also in the Bible, it's specific. It's thought out, it's planned, and it is your gift because of Jesus Christ. He has given you a specific place in his life and in his heaven. Jesus came to die on the cross to forgive your sins and now ascended into heaven to prepare a place for you. A place that is both measurable and immeasurable. Just like his love for us is very specific but boundless. Would you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus, who loves us with a boundless love. In this world, we have so much need. There is boundless need, and yet we can live with boundless hope because of Jesus Christ and his love for us. I pray for the person watching right now that you will show them, through me or through someone else in the church, the boundless love of Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me for today's Boundless Hope video devotion on the baseball fields. And I pray that God will richly bless you and you'll join me again next time.